good that have feels to win this trophy? Uh, well, I mean, I was I was pretty surprised. I mean, um, now they, in this category, there's a lot of great singers. Obviously, Blake and Luke coming off of a huge year, but you know, until about the, the, the last award there. So uh, you know, Eric had a huge year. So for me, I don't know. I mean, you know, we're all singers in this business. That's what we do. So to, to be recognized for that, for your voice, I, mean, I think that's uh, that's pretty special, man. So it's it's exciting. It was it was shocking, but. Uh, you know, very cool. It was something that, that I always hoped I would win at some point in my career. So to finally have it under my belt is, feels really good. Does it raise your personal bar? My personal bar? Yeah. I don't know. I always set my personal bar pretty high. So it's, um, you know, but it's definitely one of those things that I wanted to accomplish before my career was over. And, uh, you know, I hope that I would, at the end of my career, have one of these sitting on my shelf. So, that, you know, that's, uh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, you were competing with Luke technically, but I know you guys are really great friends. What does that win tonight mean to him, do you think? You know, what, you must be excited for him, too. Yeah, man, I'm happy. You know, Luke is, uh, is one of my best friends, and um, you know, I've been on the road with him, you know, I guess two out of the last four years we've toured together, and, and I've watched his show come a long way in the, in the last few years, man. And, um, he's put a lot of work into it and, and, and become a really great entertainer. and. Um, you know, and I think, uh, speaking of being shocked, I don't, I don't think there was anybody uh, more shocked than him in the room, you know, so, um, but, you know, it's, uh, that's part of what I love about him. I mean, he's, uh, he's kind of reached that point in his career, man. He's had a huge year. He blew up this past year and, uh, you know, he's doing his first big headline tour and, and it's, uh, he's killing it out there. So I'm happy for him, man. It's, uh, I'm proud of him. You know, we got this one, which is a big one. He got that one. It's a, it's a big win for for our little crew, so it's, uh, it's good night. I wanted to ask you about the only way I know. Um, <coughs> I can obviously hear it was a hit. Why was it important for you to bring some friends into that before? I was just trying to get some more votes for this award show. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, man, you know what? I, uh, Luke and I talked about doing a song together for a while, and, and I found this song and thought it would be cool to bring him on board. And the more we uh, were listening to it, I just thought, you know, we could bring somebody else in. And uh, Eric had been on tour with me. The year before, so he uh, again, you know, Eric's coming off of a big year. I mean, that, that record, that Chief record, he just had out this past year. I think is obviously it's one album of the year, and uh, a couple of times, and it's uh, you know just goes to show you what a year he's having too. So I just thought it'd be a really cool event to have on my record, the three of us on on one song like that, and um, you know the fact that uh, we won the, the vocal event is is really cool. I mean, it's my second year winning it. We won it with Kelly last year. And, and now this, so uh, it's uh, hopefully maybe they will rename the award after me or something. If this keeps up. I wanted to um, uh, ask you a question about uh, my favorite song on the album, which is Black Tears, mm -hmm. and I, I talked to Tyler about it, who who wrote it, co-wrote it. What attracted you to that song, and what made you choose it to put it on the album? Uh, you know what, man? I like songs that are different. I like things that aren't served up right down the middle, and uh, you know. You don't technically hear a lot of songs about uh, the hard times of a stripper on, on most country music records. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> so for that reason, you know, I, and, and I thought it was just a really well written song. Man. I, I thought that uh, you know the message in the song and, and the way it was written, I just thought it was a, a great song. And um, and I, I heard uh, actually heard Floyd Georgia Lines version of it first, and um, and just you know was a fan of the song anyway. And, uh, you know, so I just kind of fell in love with it, wanted to put it on the record. And, and uh, But like I said, man, I like doing things like that that are a little off the wall and aren't, you know, right down the middle songs. And uh, it's, you know, things like Dirt Road Anthem and songs like that have worked out real well for us doing that sort of thing. So, uh, you know, I just, that, that's why. I mean, I don't know how else to answer it, but that way, so. Jason, I'm curious. You said you're surprised about this award, but... What, what are you more surprised about? How quickly your stadium shows sold out or winning this award tonight? Um, I don't know. That's, that's kind of tough. I mean, the stadium thing is just crazy for me just because, I mean, growing up and, and being a fan of country music, I mean, there wasn't, uh, there wasn't a, lot of, a lot of country acts that were able to, to go out and, and play stadiums like that. You know, the, the couple that come to mind are George Strait and Kenny Chesney. Um, but, you know, Garth obviously could do it, and I mean, there, but there wasn't a lot of guys that could go out and do those things, and 
um, you know, to, to be able to go and, and put a show up for sale in a stadium like that and it's sell out in, in just a few minutes or whatever it is, I mean, that's um, it's, it's pretty crazy for me to think that. I mean, I was the guy going to all those stadium shows, looking around going, God, this must be awesome, you know, and, and now at a point in my career where we're able to go do that is, is just incredible. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Last question. Basically, you're going to sort of be checking one off your bucket list at Sanford Stadium, and you'll be bringing your buddy Luke with you. Can you? I know when we talked to you a couple of months ago, it was still kind of forming, and you were thinking about maybe some surprises. Can you think about going into this weekend with this trophy now, with your good buddy Luke, and playing the home of your beloved Georgia Bulldogs? <laughs> it's going to be a big night. Um, we, uh, they may kick us out of Athens, Georgia, before it's over, but um, it, it's going to be great. I mean, obviously, Luke and I both are, you know, born and raised in the state of Georgia, and um, you know, both of us big fans of of the University of Georgia, Georgia Bulldogs, and uh, there's never been a show at that stadium, never been a concert there, so we're the first ones to ever get to do that, um, and and I think that having the two of us on that show together, you know, I mean, when when I found out we were going to do that show. I mean, he was the first phone call I made. I'm like, all right, we're playing. You know, we got a show at Stanford Stadium. I want you on it. And uh, he's like, done. You know, so I mean, it's it's a big deal for us. I mean, and um, I think this coming off of this week, having you know, he and I both coming out of this with with big wins and, and going into that show. I mean, our uh, our chest is going to be swelled up pretty good. So uh, I'm, I'm definitely excited about it. Thank you, so much. Thank you guys. I appreciate it.